All right, here's some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 gameplay on the PlayStation 4. You're seeing uh, footage from a team deathmatch game, 10v10. So the match is already under progress. And I've got uh, an MP5 build, not the, uh, the integrated suppressor, but the other one, the monolithic. And my, as you can see, my other weapon is this M14 build. It's not the scope. And I get killed there. So more news about Modern Warfare 2 2022 is available, but I've been uh, doing my best just to avoid it. I don't really want to overload myself. I've already made the decision to buy the game, so I'm not really in any hurry to learn more about the game. And there's a sweet two-tap kill. Like, Modern Warfare 2019 is probably the first game in the series that I can think of in which the M14 is like a viable weapon. M14 or M21. So I think in COD 4 there's the M21, but I remember it being in M14 being in Modern Warfare 2. And that player. Dodges my shots. His teammate doesn't. His or her teammate doesn't. We're down by seven. But uh, I've been thinking, and uh, this type of game would really be suited with like GI Joe characters, because this year is the 40th anniversary of Real American Hero. There's another double tap kill and then my proxy mine with the ammo box killed someone now we're tied but going back to gi joe i mean these characters it's almost like you're playing with gi joe characters good and bad oh two double taps oh there's a one shot kill and i get the harrier but, I mean, you got two factions, the Coalition and the Legions. Might as well be G.I. Joe and Cobra. And you got skins for characters. And if you want, you could, instead of the special characters, that player's peeking around, but they get a headshot. But uh, even for players who don't want to play a specialized character, you could be like, instead of Milsim, you could be like a generic G.I. Joe or generic Cobra character. My Harrier's doing work. That's two kills, at least three. Three in total, two. Quick succession. Triple kill. Quad kill, thanks to my two tap. And there's my Apache. So we're up by four when I call in this chopper. But instead of like real life vehicles, you could have the G.I. Joe vehicles from the toy line. That'd be so cool. The only thing that I would do is like I would have a limit on the number. I'm not good, bitch. And I get cussed out by a child. Going back to like operator character limits, like I don't really want to see like a whole team of snake eyes or a whole team of like storm shadows. So like it should limit to kind of the way it's in Rainbow Six Siege, where it's like only one player gets to play as a particular character. Now, I've never played Rainbow Six Siege, but what you could do is like, you could have a, a list of your preferred characters in order, and if your your top character is selected by someone else, then the game automatically selects your next preferred character, and so on. And if you, like, D 
do well in a lobby in a match, then in the next match within the same lobby, you get priority. Yes, bitch. But I finished 27 and 1. I lost track of how many kills I've gotten outside of the, the chopper. That's damn good result. 27 and 1.